spared him, punished him, avoided him, eluded him. Master's grace taught, disciples' plot sought. <laughs> His golden long staff meant nothing once mortal compassions took root. But his at first too could fall in this way. On a white deer or a green bull, the celestial courtiers mount. On a cyan lion or a white elephant, the bodhisattvas ride. This great beetle, too, could be someone's mount. They could have put their belief in anything, yet they chose a yaogwai. Those who deny the rules must suffer the wrath. No wind wrought such destruction here. The Samadhi wind brought only malice here. Vajras and Ahats before the yellow wind shivered. Mounts of Bodhisattvas, a lion cyan and an elephant white, in fear quivered. A wicked Yaogwai of fierce might followed a discerning master. It was his blessing, but also became his curse. They say Yaogwais prey on men, yet men prey on men too, only more ruthlessly. A fair trade in that tiny well? How does it differ from the trades out in the world? 